Hey guys, I'm Nice Mark, and today I'm gonna be joined by the Redstone Scientist. And what we have for you today is 12 useful Redstone circuits. So let's start. What is up, guys? It is the Redstone Scientist here, and today Nice Mark and I are gonna be showing you a couple of useful circuits that you can use in your survivor worlds. So the first one that I have to show for you today is this super simple dual edge, uh, dual edge detector. And uh, what that means is that it will give you a pulse on the rising and falling edge, meaning the on and off signal. So I have a dispenser with water in it right here, and if I pull this lever, you can see that we get the water dispensed. And when I turn the redstone off by pulling this lever again, the water will get uh, sucked up by the dispenser. So all you need is just a sticky piston with a redstone block on it and two pieces of redstone. One in the original position of the redstone block and one in the final position of the redstone block. And because the redstone block briefly becomes an entity as it is moving, or block 36 as it is moving, excuse me. The redstone turns off briefly and then turns back on when it gets to its final resting place. A C flip-flop is a memory device and basically what it does is whenever it receives a resting signal, it's gonna switch between the two states that it has. So for example, it can be on, you send it a signal, it turns off, and you send it an R signal and it turns back on. Now, people usually use this to turn a button into a lever, but there are a few other uses for it as well. The next one I have for you today is this really simple pulse extender. And what that means is that it will extend the pulse of whatever you input into it. And as you can see, this is otherwise known as a comparator diminishing or comparator, comparator dampening signal. And basically, when I push this button, you get a signal strength of 15 here. It goes through this comparator, you get an output of 15 here. Then this is 14, goes through this comparator, you get 13. Then 12 and so on and so forth until it reaches zero which causes the pulse to last a longer time now if you want the pulse to last even longer you can add more comparators and it will significantly de uh, make the single last much much longer as you can see right here you might have heard of a bot already it's a block update detector and basically what it does is it sends a redstone signal whenever it receives a block update and that is whenever you break or place a block next to it. So this can be used for farms to detect whenever something grows. Now another useful and interesting redstone device is the comparator of the detector. Now this one isn't really common so for example you can detect uh, whenever you click in a chest or whenever you take something out of a chest or when you place a sign there are actually many uses for it and i actually made a video about it already i'll include it in the description the next circuit I have for you today is a very easy to build RS NOR latch. Now what that means is you have an input uh, line and you have a, excuse me, you have an output line and you have the memory and you have a reset button. So if you press this button right here, you will get an output and it will stay that way no matter how many times you press it. Now if you want to reset the memory, you can just push this button and no matter how many times you press it, it will stay reset. All it is is two droppers facing into each other and comparators coming off of them. This is the memory line and this is the reset line. So you really don't even need that. This was originally invented by Mumbo Jumbo and a link of course will be in the description. And probably the most commonly used redstone circuit is the clock. And there are many variations actually. So there are short ones, there are long ones, and uh, let's just take a look at a couple of examples. So here we've got very fast one tick clock on repeaters. We've got a comparator clock. And here we have a couple of long ones. So this one is based on a dispenser. Whenever an item spawns, it's gonna send another one from the dispenser. And it's gonna send a signal every five minutes pretty much until it runs out of items. And then we have a hopper clock which is also very useful. I'm gonna provide more designs in the description so you can check them out. The final circuit that I have for you today is this really compact and very easy to use, relatively, zero tick, zero tick pulse generator invented by Pi 3.14159265358979 I believe is his username. And basically all you need to do is power this 
sticky piston at the back here, pull the lever, and as you can see, that block, that block, well, let's move the block back here, this block gets instantly teleported. And the great thing about this is you can chain them together, so you can get some really cool effects. So I'm going to instantly teleport this block from here up to here and up, just by pulling this lever. And there you have it. Now all this is, is uh, a sticky piston facing this way, and this is a sticky piston also with a redstone block on its face. Then you have a sticky piston facing into it, pushing a redstone block into there to activate it, and then if you want to chain it together, you just place another sticky piston and start the process all over again. Now a pause shortener is something that you use when you want to shorten the pause, to so generate a very fast one. So it's very simple and very useful, and it affects sticky pistons in a way that they react like a normal piston. Okay, so there are also four more designs that I'd like to quickly go over. Well, actually more than four, um, but anyway, let's start. So the ABBA switch, very interesting one, a counter, a randomizer, and of course all the logic gates. Those are very useful, but I think that you don't really use them often. Well, maybe the end gate, uh, but other than that, I don't think you use the other watch gates often. And I think that's it. So let me know what you think about the video. And don't forget to check out the Redstone Scientist. And yeah, so that's that. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me, and thank you for uh, nice mark for having me on your channel. I really enjoyed myself. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, a comment, or better yet, hit that subscribe button. Make sure to check out the jam pick description for more science. I'll see you next time. And of course, thanks for watching.